Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time we're looking at Batman issue 119. This is from the Rebirth line and this is part two of The Abyss. Written by Joshua Williamson, art by Jorge Molina and Adriano De Benedetto and Michael Jane. Tomio Mori was on colors, Clayton Cowell's letters, Jorge Molina did the cover, associate editor was Dave Walgos, Ben Abernathy editor. The cover's pretty good actually, at least it's dynamic, so there's something happening. Batman is talking to Le Lex Luthor, and a team tries to take Batman out, their Luthor goons, and Batman makes short work of them before escaping. Now, at this point, Lex Luthor does know that Bruce Wayne is Batman, because secret identities are a joke over DC, and in modern comics in general, so I don't even know why anybody bothers. And Batman has to go examine the body of Abyss, but it looks like the corpse has been dead for months, and that's when he's attacked by Abyss. And things don't go quite well for Batman. Now, there's a backup story, written Drawn and lettered by Carl Kershaw. Colors by John Rausch. Edits by Ben Abernathy. And that's this girl Mia trying to figure out what happened to her friend. And she meets Bruce Wayne at a gala and is kind of bored. And she decides to break into her friend's house and try and nose around. So she dresses up like Robin. Goes in there only to find a bunch of cucumbers laying around. And Batman waiting to talk to her. So he puts her in his car to take her home. And that's when they come across these little bug-eyed alien things. And it looks like Batman might be in some trouble. But don't worry. This this 10 year old little girl is gonna save him. The art on the first story is pretty solid. It does use the anime action lines and when there's soft lighting, like there's a scene where Bruce and Lex are sitting down, it really does kind of bring out the flaws in some of the art, especially with faces. There's a bit of proportionality issues. I also don't like the use of the anime action lines. That really annoys me. It's lazy and it's not always used appropriately. But the shots of Batman in costume are by and large very, very good and the scenes that night are really good so i'd have to say the art is pretty decent overall not the greatest but it's definitely not the worst the backup story has horrible art awful coloring it looks very much like a bad european advertisement i hated everything about it people are very disproportionate very weird looking except batman when he's in costume looks really good everything else i was not that impressed with the story is okay it just was aimed at a much younger audience than the main story so it doesn't really Really flow very well. The backup story reads like it's aimed at middle schoolers where the primary story is much more gruesome and dark and aimed at like high schoolers I would say. So those two things don't really make sense together. It's almost like the backup story was intended to be a one shot that was broken apart into multiple chapters for the service of making it a backup story and it really doesn't work at all. My other major complaint is that the character Abyss when he's referred to in the plural is constantly given an apostrophe S. Grammar lesson from third grade, anything ending in S just gets an apostrophe. You don't add another S onto it, and it's done throughout the book. What are your editors doing? You had two people, the associate editor and the editor, working on this book, and nobody caught that? Are you kidding me? Abyss is an apostrophe. You don't have to put apostrophe S on it. That is just incredibly lazy. I don't know how they let that go through the entire issue. It's really, really frustrating. But otherwise, it was an okay issue. Is it worth five bucks? No. Grab this out of a dollar or two dollar bin and it'll hold up for that. The story is fine. The art is largely decent. There's a few things that annoyed me that are obviously anime and manga inspired, but the backup story is garbage. The backup stories in these Batman books have been total trash since they started doing them and I don't know why they even bother. Just add more story for the primary. Stop with the lazy secondary stories that are really misplaced in these books. So I've already recommend it but only if you could get it cheap or buy the trade really cheap it's not the greatest batman story but it's definitely not the worst either and it is compelling enough that i would like to read the next installment just certain flaws are very distracting mostly the action lines and the weird manga faces that people make when they're shocked everybody's got these exaggerated wide mouths and it's very frustrating either make it anime manga style or make it western style this hybrid just looks awful more often than not at least this artist is doing a good job with Batman in costume and the dark scenes. They're better than most, but it's still very frustrating to see these weird action lines where they're not needed. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, links are in the description to various support methods. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.